Good morning, Panthers. I'm Ethan Miller. And I'm Dean Gillard. Let's take a look into the Panthers sports world. Girls Volleyball beat Royal in their first round of the CIF playoffs, but lost to Campbell Hall in the second round, but still had a great year. Girls Tennis beat Thousand Oaks last week, and they will play in their Marmonte League Tournament this Thursday and Friday. Girls Golf finished their last round of the Marmonte League Tournament. Congrats on the, uh, on the season. Our football team is going to the playoffs. The team played great Friday night and beat Oak Park 55-36. to Eric and I were there to show you guys what went down. Hey Panthers, last Friday Newport Park faced up against Oak Park, an exciting game beating them 55-36 and an impressive showing of offense and defense. Our Panthers threw for 480 yards and had a total of two turnovers. We also had the chance to talk to Jordan Lacey, current NFL free agent and former Baltimore Ravens wide receiver. He works for Sports Recruits, a company that specializes in filming and analyzing football. How do you feel about this game? Uh, I feel like it was a great showing from both teams. Uh, two really good quarterbacks. Brady Smigel is a very impressive quarterback. Charlie Simmons very much so impressed me tonight. A lot of catches all over the field tonight, so I'm impressed, man. Good game. Thank you. Um, how, do you how do you feel about our playoff chances in CIF? Playoff chances? I mean, you guys are what, 8-1 now? Yeah. So, looks like you guys might take over league, right? So, it's all about building on, it's all about building on top of wins and on top of wins. And usually the hottest team that goes into the playoffs is usually the one that's going to end up winning a CIF championship. So. Congratulations to the football team being 8-1 and one in securing a spot in this year's playoffs. Reporting for PTV, I'm Eric Johnson alongside Ethan Miller. Football will play at Camarillo this Friday to finish out the regular season. Let's all come out to the game and cheer on our Panthers. Our boys' water polo squad beat Calabasas last week and are going to the CIF playoffs. I went and checked out what the team is all about. Hey Panthers, here at NPHS we have sports such as basketball, football, and soccer. But one sport takes a little bit of each and puts it all together. Let's go check out boys' water polo. So I would say that my favorite thing about water polo is um, how different it is from pretty much every other sport. Um, you got a mix of like hockey and soccer, uh, some elements of basketball. Um, you got to be really, really conditioned. So it's almost like running a marathon. And it's just really one of those sports that's on its own, stands on its own. It's not really anything that any other sports seen. Water polo is definitely different from other sports just because of the pace. Uh, it's unlike any other sport really. You're playing all four quarters and there's a lot of aggression constantly. You're always getting beat up and you certainly get super tired. It's, it's super entertaining, it's fast paced, uh, a lot goes on, high scoring games, it's super fun. There's. There's a sort of a survival aspect to it, you know? You're always having to keep yourself uh, afloat out of the water, which, I mean, at this point, it's kind of like second nature, but especially when you're getting into it, it's kind of tough. As well as the fact that, like, a lot of your injuries that you get aren't really, like, one force. It's, a lot, it's usually, like, you have concussions or, like, broken fingers, but you're never going to have, like, broken leg, broken arm, or anything like that. Even with water polo being a unique sport, teamwork is still a crucial part of the team's success. We have a really good team this year. Uh, if we play our cards right, we have a very good chance at, at winning CIF. It's going to be pretty close games, like we've had some close games already, and um, I'm sure it's going to be very competitive and just tough overall, but it'll be entertaining nonetheless. Reporting for PTV, I'm Dean Jillig. We are at that time of the year where the NBA season is underway. Here's Eric with this week's Panther Window. Hey Panthers, the NBA has officially begun their 2022 the 2023 season. Many teams are out for revenge or a chance to repeat as champions as the Golden State Warriors are the favorites to win this year's NBA Finals. Last year, Stephen Curry, Warriors superstar, became the all-time leader in three-pointers, beating Ray Allen. This year, LeBron James, Lakers superstar, is entering his 20th season in the NBA and is projected to pass Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in all-time scoring. This year's MVP race will be one watch too as Luka Doncic, Maverick superstar, is favored to win. But Joel Embiid and Giannis are also favorites to be this year's MVP. In the West, the Warriors are the favorites to win their conference. And in the East, the Bucks and the Celtics are favorites to win their conference. It's easy to say this season will be a fun one as many teams are battling for playoff spots and the chance to win it all. Now let's go back to the desk. That's going to do it for this installment of PTV Sports. 
Good luck to our Panthers in their upcoming games. Until next time, go Panthers.